This is the studiofiles.com video on Keyboard Focus and Pro Tools LE. Now there's probably going to be more videos on Keyboard Focus. For now we're just going to cover the basics. First you need to make sure that your Keyboard Focus is enabled. And that's this button right here, the A to Z button. If it's outlined in blue, then that means it's on. If it's not, then it's off. So make sure it's outlined in blue. What Keyboard Focus basically does is it takes all your key commands that would require modifier keys like Control, Option, Command and it makes it so that you don't have to use those. It's very fast and very efficient. First, let's talk about zooming. One way to zoom is to just hit F5, which will turn on your zoom tool. Then you just click and drag to where you want to zoom, and Pro Tools will zoom in. With keyboard focus, there's a couple different ways to zoom. Today, we're just going to talk about R and T. If you hit the R key, you'll zoom out. If you hit the T key, you'll zoom in. So first, let's we'll zoom out with the R key. Hit it two different times there, and we'll zoom in with the T key. It's pretty simple. Those keys are placed very, very well on the keyboard so that it's very convenient for you to do zooms with those. You'll find yourself using those a lot. Let's zoom out with the R key. Let's talk about the fade tools and the trim tools. That's going to be A through G on your keyboard. Let's zoom into a new region here. This time I'm going to use the F5 zoom tool. Now the A key will trim everything before your cursor. So if I put my cursor here and I hit the A key, notice that everything before my cursor was deleted. Now let's undo that with just the Z key. One more time, the A key trims everything before your insertion point. Now let's undo that again. Let's talk about the S key. It's the exact same thing, just opposite. It'll trim everything after your point. So hit S, everything's trimmed. Undo it with Z, put it somewhere else, hit it S again, it trims. Very simple. Let's zoom out with the R key. This time let's zoom in with the T key. This is a new region. Let's talk about D, F, and G. D, it's kind of similar to A, but rather than trimming everything before your uh, cursor here, it's going to fade everything. So watch what happens when I hit the D key. Notice that big fade is drawn in. Let's undo that with Z. Now let's skip to the G key. The G key is very much like the S key, except for that it's fading. So everything after your cursor here is going to fade out. Let's undo that. Let's put it somewhere else and show you one more time. G key. Let's undo with a Z. Now finally, let's talk about your F key. First, we're going to zoom out one more time with R. Now let's switch to the grabber tool. We're going to have another video on tools, but for now, F8 will switch you to the grabber tool. Let's grab this region over here, and let's drag it onto our region we were just looking at. Now let's pretend that was an edit. Now zoom in with F5. You're going to want to make a crossfade on that point. So switch back to your selection tool with F7 and highlight the region where they interlap, overlap that is, and hit the F key. You'll see that Pro Tools automatically writes in a fade. Now that also works for fade ins and fade outs. So if you highlight to the edge of a region and hit F, it'll fade out. And if you highlight the beginning of a region and hit F, it'll fade in. Let's talk about one more, one more technique here because all of these are going to be used in our drum editing video that's coming up really soon. Let's talk about nudging with the comma and period keys. First thing you're going to need to do is check your nudge amount. That's right here. And if you click that menu, you'll notice there's a couple options. I start with 100 samples usually. It seems to be the best way. It's not too much. 1,000 samples is way too much, and 10 samples you'll be slamming the period key all day making your edits. So 100 samples, start with that. To make edits, highlight what you want. Separate with the B key. Oh, that's another key you should learn. If you hit the B key, watch. A new region is created. Notice that if we undo it, it's gone. And if we separate it with the B key, it's back. So now you know how to separate. Now, once you separate, you need to move things around a little bit. So you're going to use the comma key to move back. Let's hit it a few times. Notice how my audio is moving back in increments of 100 samples. And if you hit the period key, it's going to move forward in increments of 100 samples. 
So those are the basics. We'll talk more later about some more advanced functions of keyboard focus, but now you've got the skills to watch our drum editing video, which is coming up next.